Have I done this right? There it is. All right. Like they were saying, I haven't been here in a long time. I've been just so, so very busy. And it's uh, soul crushing to not be able to come out here with you guys and just, just feel your, the love that you guys generate. It's just a great group of people. I recommend since there's first timers every time, it's just incredible. You're welcome. Come join us. This is a great experience. Um, so one of the things I've been doing over the last couple months, aside from just the doldrum of work, I've been developing some different board game and card games. And then I've uh, been working on a video for my friend's band. And it's just, I've realized that I'm just so busy, I need a way to quantify my success. So I've been going through the process of trying to lose weight. So I have the Nike Fuel Band. It keeps track of all my activities so I can quantify that. It keeps track of my sleep so I know how much that is. I come and do these things and it gets recorded on film so I know how much time I spend performing. Just going through the trouble of quantifying my life and then I realized all these numbers don't mean much until I have a base. So then I started to think about nothing and zero and what the, the value of that. So to have like, you know, I've done all these great things but I need a launching point. And so I wanna bring everyone back down to the concept of just nothing is impossible. So when you think about it, you might say that's just nonsense, that there's plenty of math, old mathematicians that would tell us you know, nothing or zero is the placeholder, the base for a representation of a lack of everything, but it's not. And I'm gonna borrow from Mike Judge. He did a couple films you may have seen, a series of television shows. The protagonist in one film says, I did it nothing all day you know it's absolutely everything I thought it could be <laughs> right is that great so you know I thought about that because I watch that every once in a while to pick up my spirits because I too work in an office style space um, got down to it and realized there's 350 million Buddhists out there that do just fine with nothing that's actually their goal. They, they measure their accomplishment in multiples of nothing. The more nothing, kind of the better for them. They feel it's how you center yourself, you commune with yourself and find inner peace and oneness and just, just reach out and feel just everything by removing your television and your car and all that just distractions are what those are. Um, so I wanted to just take it this moment to reach out to you and think, you probably have a television, you want that bigger television, life isn't measured in inches, despite what the ladies tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that it's not about your car and how fast you can drive and how many miles to the gallon you get, that's all nice, but plenty of people just bike to work, which is a great option. I've been doing that myself and I really recommend it. Um, Thanks. That matter was, yes, biking to work. <laughs> Infinite miles to the gallon. So I like that. Now that we're in uh, even crazier math, infinite's another thing. But I want to get back to, again, nothing. So you're all doing a really great job. Let's just all just be quiet for seven seconds. Does that feel great? Do you feel your heart beat a little? Is that just fantastic just to sit and be and... So that's what I want to leave with you. I want you to give you guys nothing. I want you to take it and do everything you can with it. So thank you very much for your time.